Now we're going to look at the impact of type on a logo design. Think of a logo as more than a name in pretty type. It needs to be the essence of a brand identity. A brand identity is markedly affected by the psychology of font, color, and shape, which is why logo creation is a unique specialty. Every detail of a company's logo intentional or not, will influence people's impressions of the company and impact their purchasing decisions. So let's go ahead and look at the psychology of fonts in a logo design. Fonts have varying psychological impact on the viewer. The emotion generated from font choice is directly tied into the shape of the letters and our psychological response to those shapes. So how can this knowledge help you find the font style that will work best for a business? The, the Software Usability Research Laboratory at Wichita State University ran a study that explained the traits that people associate with varying fonts. Tradi traditional fonts such as Arial, as you see on the left-hand side here um, as the American Airlines logo, is representing or T times new roman which is on the right hand side there the american home real estate logo is representing were ca characterized as stable and mature but were also seen as unimaginative and conformist in contrast youthful fonts like comic sans were considered happy and casual think about the message you want your brand to convey and pick accordingly Although the font appearance is important, the most essential aspect of a good logo font is not its feel, but rather its readability. The psychology of shape in logo design. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. All logos have a shape. This is true whether they include an icon and text, just as an icon or tech only text. The three major shape categories are geometric, abstract slash symbolic and organic and all come with their own unique psychological associations. So let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these shapes. Geometric shapes look man-made. Mathematically precise squares, perfect circles, and isosceles triangles don't appear in nature. So using these shapes communicates a sense of order and power. Squares and rectangles convey stability, reliability, strength, order, and predictability. Like bricks that build sturdy, stable buildings. If you want your logo to communicate strength and reliability, consider incorporating squares or rectangles. Circles, in contrast, are never ending. So they may be the right choice for your logo if you want to make your consumers think of harmony, unity, eternity, or timelessness. Curves are considered to be feminine. And as such, circles communicate softness, grace, and femininity. Finally, triangles are, direction, are directional in shape. As a result, their meanings, meaning changes depending on how they are positioned. When right side up, triangles convey power, stability, and upward momentum. Inverted triangles suggest instability or downward momentum and triangles pointing to the side convey movement in a forward direction where the point is facing. Abstract or symbolic shapes, let's take a look at that. So symbols are simplified shapes that represent something specific in a culture. FedEx and Amazon are examples of logos that are, are <laughs> logos that use symbols well. The arrow in the FedEx logo is subtle and created from negative space. It's an unexpected surprise. Amazon logo features an arrow that does triple duty, signifying a package being delivered, the range of products from A to Z, and the recipient's resulting smile. Organic shapes is another uh, shape type of a logo. So organic shapes include shapes occurring in nature, such as rocks, leaves, bark, amoeba, water, ripples. This category also encompasses any irregular, non-symbolic shape even if it is or does not occur in nature. When utilizing organic shapes, um, I pretty much suggest these guidelines when you think about this in, in regards to your logo design. Number one, nature shapes 
Natural shapes like leaves, grasses, representations of water, and trees tend to have a soothing effect on the viewer. This is why they often appear in logos for spas, holistic medical businesses, for example. Number two, shapes with jagged angles may create feelings of anxiety, while shapes with soft curves make people feel more relaxed. And lastly, shapes that don't resemble anything recognizable are, are open to the viewer's interpretation. This means that you will need to work harder to communicate a specific message through other design elements and branding choices. So here's some examples of circle logos here on this slide. Um, these shapes are used in 20% of the logos in the world. When you use circles in your logo shapes, you convey positive emotional messages unity and commitment, strength and steadiness. So take a look at the Olympics, NASA and Google logos. They all give up us the sense of unity and positivity. The next one is square logos. Here's some examples of square logos. When you use square, square shapes in your logo shapes, you convey strength and safety, security, professionalism, trustworthiness. Um, square might not come out as, as Boring, so using color can help add vibrancy to your logo. Like with the Microsoft logo, they use a variety of colors to engage the audience if it's kind of on the boring side. Next one is triangles. You don't often see this shape on logos, but it has a wonderful meaning. Um, this shape conveys power, improvement, continuous motion, energy, and these shapes are used to boost brand awareness and dictate speed and movement. Examples include Delta Airlines logo or CAT construction logo, which is masculine and powerful. Mitsubishi Motors uses a triangle too. However, when you use triangles, make sure that the angles are pointing, up, pointing upwards or to the right, otherwise it will change the meaning. Let's take a look at the psychology of lines in logo design. So lines divide space, creating definition and form. These lines are these thin lines are delicate and may appear fragile. They communicate elegance and femininity. They can also imply, um, you know, being frail, weakness, or, or flexibility. Alternatively, uh, thick lines suggest strength and rigid, rigidity and appear more traditional as far as masculine than thinner lines. Thick, bold lines are used to draw focus and create emphasis. Straight lines imply order, structure, and predictability. They can also be perceived as rigid or harsh. Curved lines often offer more energy and dynamicism, but have an impact, uh, have an implicit feminine aspect. The position of your line in space impacts the, the psychological effect that the line creates. So horizontal lines run parallel to the horizon, as a result, they contain the least visual energy of all line positions, but they feel comfortable and safe. Vertical lines can run, that run perpendicular to the horizon, they appear to rise up, straight up from the earth, which fills vertical lines with the potential visual energy to tip or fall. Vertical lines draw the eye upward and often used in religious iconography to draw the focus upward to the heavens. Diagonal lines suggest movement and action, and they can be positioned anywhere between horizontal and vertical. This makes them very expressive, but the least stable of all the line positions. <clears throat> the texture of the line also makes a difference. Smooth lines are clean, calming, and restful, depending on their context. They can convey confidence, fluidity, or ease. Jagged and zigzag lines are filled with tension. These dynamic lines change direction quickly and can, can communicate erratic movement. They can suggest excitement or anxiety, confusion or anger. So lines are often overlooked when it comes to logo design, but you know, definitely has to be, um, you know, pretty much has to be looked at in regards to the importance of how you position them if you use lines within your logo mark. Here's an example of line uh, logos with lines within them. 
Let's take a look at the psychology of color and logo design. We just went over this recently, um, but this also plays a part in your overall effectiveness of your logo. So color contributes the strongest emotional trigger in most logo designs. Colors are strongly linked to emotions in the human psyche. Whether our interpretation of color is hardwired into our brains or is due to cultural influence or a combination of both, there is generally accepted language of color within a cultural context. So thinking about this, choose colors wisely to elicit brand appropriate emotions. Your color choices should always embody and apply the personality of your brand. Composition is also something to think about whenever you are designing a logo. Fonts, shapes, lines, and colors are the building blocks for a great logo. How you compose these elements impacts how the logo is perceived and the message it sends. Here are some important things to consider when composing a logo design. Think about size. Size donates importance. The larger an object is, the more focus it draws and the more importance it, it proje projects. Western audiences read from left to right, so things appearing on the left side of the logo will be viewed first and perceived as the most important. Loosely spaced items are, uh, surrounded by negative space look more restful than items that are close together. If you choose to emphasize negative space, be careful not to leave too much or the logo may lack coherence and its elements can look scattered. Scattered or irregular placements suggest playfulness, chaos, or rebellion, while orderly, symmetrical arrangements communicate formality, stability, and conformity. You need to decide which elements to use in your logo to reinforce your company's message. And lastly, layering items together creates visual relationships, so be mindful of how you combine shapes and lines. Every detail of your company's logo will influence people who see that logo. If you understand a brand and make it informed thought, and make informed, thoughtful choices regarding fonts, colors, shapes, lines, and composition, you can communicate a lot about a company with the logo effectively and efficiently.